Welcome to this episode of On the Record, your official source of information from Bowser Schools. Hi everybody, I'm Sonia Bales. And I'm Jason Rowland, and thank you for watching the seventh episode of On the Record with Bozier School, sponsored by Citizens National Bank. We are so thankful for you tuning in, and we've got an exciting show for you today. We do. Lucky number seven. Lucky number number seven, seven, our seventh episode. Hey, the energy level in this classroom is high, as you can probably see, as well as I must say the intimidation factor because these are some of the smartest, most creative fourth graders that you will find in Bossier Parish. We are joining you from Cope Middle School where the AIM program is one of three centers that we have here in Bossier Parish. Now AIM stands for uh, Activating Inquisitive Minds and I had to make sure that I had that right because <laughs> I, I was never in AIM. Right. So I didn't have the privilege of being a part of that but we, we knew it in school as the gifted program. Absolutely. The two are interchangeable, the gifted program and AIM. But you know there are 550 students in kindergarten through 12th grade here in Bossier Parish that have tested into this enrichment program. In this episode of On the Record, we're going to explain more about AIM, how students are referred and screened for it, and we're going to show you what a typical day is like, although I must say it is anything but typical. No doubt, no doubt. You can hear all in the background what's going on. Uh, we have some of the some really intelligent minds. Even as they came in the room, you could tell there's something different about these students. You could tell. And not only the students, but the teachers as well. The teachers here uh, with this program are really, really, really fantastic. Top of their game. Creative minds as well. Yeah, that's for sure. And you know, this year their theme is innovation. They're learning about innovation in cinematography, transportation, and other things. And you recently got to go along with them for I had one the, of their field trips. I had the opportunity to go to the Robertson Film Center. And uh, the things that they were doing there were just amazing. And so we enjoyed that, which was a ton of fun to be with those kids. Yeah, they learned uh, some special effects, including green screen technology, and you got to uh, take all of that in firsthand. So we're going to also take you, our viewer, along with us as we go rolling with rolling a little later in the show. But first, we have some very exciting superintendent shout outs for you. The other morning, we went along with Superintendent Mitch Downey as he showed up on the doorsteps of three schools to surprise our Bossier Parish Elementary, Middle, and High School Principals of the Year. This is always one of the best days of the year for all of us that get to go around and do this. We want to congratulate Bossier Elementary Principal Dr. Norcha Lacey. We also want to recognize and congratulate Elm Grove Middle School Principal Michael Pedrodi, and then last but certainly not least, Airline High School Principal of the Year, Mr. Justin James. Just an incredible day for these uh, for these three principals. And what uh, we want to point out is how we got there and why they were chosen and selected. Uh, each one of these schools has shown remarkable growth. Bosch Elementary went from a low rating to a C. They jumped two letter grades. That's incredible. It's that is incredible. hard to do. Hard, hard to do. Uh, Dr. Lacey and her team and her staff have done an amazing job there. Uh, Mr. Pedrodi at Elm Grove has, has uh, in two years, we've seen an upward trajectory of that school that he is, uh, he is instilling sustainable growth within that school. It is incredible to see what's going to happen in Elm Grove, and he is the master of the PLC. And then at Airline, Mr. James and his team jumped eight points, one of the highest jumps in the state of Louisiana. And already in A school. school. Already in A school. school. Yeah. And he went over the 100 mark. And uh, just the things they're doing for kids there, the graduation rate, the assessment index, the mm -hmm. things that airline of what not only Mr. James and his team, but the teachers are doing, but how about this, the students, what yeah. they bought into his vision for success and, and to have an elite educational experience at Airline. And just fostered so much community <clears throat> pride and spirit too, at all three of the schools. Now they will advance to the uh, state principal of the year 
a competition, and we would love to see them in New Orleans uh, this coming July. Yes, so then they will be the state principal of the year. So we are certainly pulling for them. Congratulations to our three principals of the year. We also had fun surprising our October Gold Star winner, Gretchen Phillips, who teaches theater at Parkway. Now, several of her students, both past and present, nominated her, which I think is very special, crediting Gretchen Phillips for being inspiring, being a mentor, and just one of the kindest people they know who does not let a single student go unseen. So big congratulations to Gretchen Phillips, and also a big thanks to Bossier Federal Credit Union for being our Gold Star Award sponsor. Now you see it, now you don't. Abracadabra. <laughs> Our K-8 to grade gifted students learned a few tricks of the trade when we went to the Robinson Film Center the other day, and it all comes down to cinematography. Yeah, like making their classmates disappear. Did they make you disappear? I even got to disappear. You got to disappear. Well, I'll tell you what, come along for the fun as we go rolling with Roland. <laughs> Jace, Emily, Om, and Eva. So tell me about what we're doing over here today at uh, the Robinson Film Center. Jace, fill us in on what we're doing. Learning about film. Okay, were you a part of something just a minute ago? What, what, what did you do? Disappeared. You disappeared. Emily, what do you think about what you've seen so far? Um, I think this is a very nice place. We're learning about the special effects and filming. So it's kind of it's kind of neat when you learn about things here, and then when you watch a movie, you'll kind of go, "Man, I might know how they did that." Now, um, what uh, what are you looking forward to being able to do when you go back in? So I'm basically looking forward to well trying to make my own movie. Here. Good, good, creative. So Eva, I noticed when you were at your table with your group, you um, you kind of had everybody lined out on what you wanted done. So uh, what's the game plan for your team when you go back in? So we're going to have three girls sitting in chairs. And the first girl, the magician, our magician Liam, is going to make her disappear. And wow. the skeleton's going to come in. And okay. the same thing with the two other girls. That's awesome. Are you going to get to disappear? Yes, sir. That's going to be fun, isn't it? You know, Sonia, it was fun to be there with those kids and watch them uh, not only do the things that they were being taught, but uh, there were some 
external things that we noticed as well. Uh, at one table alone, the kids are working on the storyboard, and we have six kids there, and uh, we're just standing back watching the kids. And I noticed this one young lady, she takes control of the table. She starts letting kids know who's going to do what and what's going to do who. And then uh, at the end, they're, they're asking her questions. So what do you think about this? You could just see the leadership skills in that child just literally come out just in, just, uh, in a setting where someone was looking for guidance. She was there to show. She's going to run a company one day. No doubt. No doubt about that. No doubt. Right? No doubt. <laughs> so, you know, what makes a child gifted and what do they do each week in the AIM program? Well, we interviewed Dr. Debbie Gegg and Nancy Vogler to find out. The gifted program is for students who have been identified as academically advanced in a way. It's really how they put information together. They're out of the box thinkers critical and creative thinkers here it's it's how they analyze it's how they respond to things there are a lot of indicators of giftedness and sensitivity is one but it's how they put all that together and everything that that shows that there's there's what we call academically gifted, you know, and it is beyond grades for sure. The grades don't determine el eligibility to be a gifted student. Um, there's a whole nother uh, process to that, and an aptitude test is given, another a separate math test, a separate reading test is given, other than our standardized test that the kids take each year. Um, anyone can refer a student. A student can refer themselves to be screened for the gifted program. We have three gifted centers in Bossier Parish, one in the south part of the district, one centralized, and one in the northern part of the district. And we brought in our middle school students into this enrichment model the last couple of years. So they also travel, unless it's their home school where the site is based. So in the K to eight space for gifted, there are no grades. It's completely enrichment. Uh, the teachers are just addressing the goals on the IEP. That's the individualized education plan for each student. Currently they're working on innovations in transportation. So they are, we are looking at some community partners with that and, and having the kids actually do experiments and hands-on projects. We try to address their critical thinking skills and their creativity. That's why no day ever looks the same and each thing because you've got all these very active minds and, and they're just, there's so much going on. For some people it kind of, when they walk in they're like, whoa, because there's so much energy in the room but there's so much learning and they're like sponges and they just love it. At the high school level, there's a variety of ways that the gifted student can be served. Uh, we offer an AIM elective class, which students, gifted students can take once per year and they get to work with their gifted peers, small class setting with their gifted teacher at their high school. And they could take a class at Bossier Parish Community College uh, that the school board funds, they pay for the class, either it's an online class or maybe an evening class you know, on, on the Bipsy campus. And they can take one per semester, once in the fall or once in the spring. And another option that the high school students have, they can work with their gifted teacher on an individualized project so, or something independent. One thing that we have noticed and research backs it up is that a gifted kid, because they can do so many things, often have a hard time focusing on one thing. And so our, one of our goals for our program, I think, is to help them develop that focus and that desire of what, you know, to realize what they can do, but what do you want to do? You know, something I found interesting is a student can test into AIM at any point in their academic career, whether they're in kindergarten or it's their senior year, and they do not have to retest each year because once gifted, always gifted. Yeah, and it's an easy process. Uh, it's a great program. Anyone can be screened for this. All you've got to do is contact the school's counselor. We will go through an SPLC process, and then we will find out whether that, that child meets the criteria to be a part of the, the AIM program. Such Sonia, a great program. That's about all we have time for today. I know this has just been a wild and fast last two weeks. It has and, been, uh, for sure. It has been like none other. We want to remind all of our, our viewers to please smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. That way, every time we drop an episode, you are notified of On the Record with Bozier Schools. He told you, smash it. Smash, smash it. Smash that subscribe button. Well, for now, you are up to date. We hope you all have a great week. Yes, you are.
This episode of On the Record with Bossier Schools is brought to you by Citizens National Bank. From checking and savings accounts to mortgage and refinancing, Citizens National Bank is here for all of your personal banking needs and is honored to be a proud partner of Bossier Schools. This has been a Bossier Schools production. Join us next time when we go On the Record with Bossier Schools.